Hey everyone, welcome to another video and thank you so much for tuning in. Well, Bugatti and Remac make it official. Rivian files for another patent. And Tesla, as always, has so much going on. So let's get started. All right, first up, Bugatti and Remac. Oh my gosh, they are going to make some amazingly beautiful cars. I can't wait to see what they come up with and what this collaboration, or I should say what the new direction of Bugatti is going to take. You know, um, there's a pretty interesting video. I'll link it in the description, but the history of Remac and then combining that with Bugatti, man. That's going to be absolutely phenomenal. As you know, Remac already has the Navera, which is a phenomenal vehicle, way out of most people's price range, but still, all by itself is just a fantastic looking car. So new hypercars that are going to be either a combo of battery combustion engines or maybe just pure electric at some point. I should say, you know they're going to be pure electric at some point, but Bugatti's going to have all the resources of Remac now, and it's going to be absolutely amazing to see what they do. There's also a pretty interesting um, little diagram that I want to share with you about who owns what and what Remac plans to do. So that's kind of an interesting thing, and I think you'll notice that Hyundai's in the mix, and wow. Well, so let's see if they use this technology for uh, their benefit in their electric vehicles. So we know the EV6 is already going to be pretty quick. Hope uh, they use some of Remax technology and make it even faster and better. So can't again, can't wait to see what that produces. Moving on to Rivian. Well, it turns out that uh, they are filing a patent for a new way to turn. They're calling it the uh, K-turn, but essentially it's uh, locking a wheel, a rear wheel in place, and then using the torque and the power of the front wheels to kind of uh, drag the car around so that it turns, um, I guess, a little sharper, you know? And again, this is really for off-roading. And, you know, I don't know, the more I see what Rivian's doing, I really believe they're going to be the electric Jeeps of uh yeah the industry you know? now let's talk about neo so neo the chinese company is really branching out and they're moving very quickly right now i want to say um actually uh, about a month and a half ago they started uh sales in norway and then they got approval for their es8 suv to be mass produced all through europe and now they have their sights set on germany so they put out a, a job posting in Germany for a manager of uh, Neo Germany. So again, that company is really, really starting to spread out. But my real interest in them is they have stuck with the battery swapping idea. Now, I know that Tesla did that back in the day, but decided to ditch it. Neo has been pretty successful with it in China. So now let's see if that idea continues to be in their model as they go throughout Europe you know so again it's just great to see you know other ideas and just kind of sticking with it to see how it goes and if people really pick up on it you know it could be another option for EV owners to uh, have that available to them as well and the more options we have as always the better off we are now moving on to Tesla, and there is always a lot of Tesla news. So first up, even though it's not quite Tesla, it's Tesla, the boring company. They just got their final proposal in to Fort Lauderdale to uh, basically build a uh, tunnel from the city area to the beach to relieve uh, congestion. So they put in their final uh, final bid and now they're just waiting 45 days for all the competitors to put their bids in. But I think it's a lock and chances are the boring company is going to get it. And now they're going to have uh, essentially a loop in Florida. So I can't wait to see that because that's kind of in my backyard. And yeah, when they open that thing up, got to go test it out. 
also up for The Boring Company is they look like they've uh, put up a posting, a job posting for a senior tunnel engineer. And currently, I think that person is going to be working on the newest boring uh, rig that they're uh, planning on having. And I think that uh, boring rig is going to be called the Proof Rock. And that Proof Rock is supposedly going to be designed so that it's six times faster than the current um, boring equipment that they're using. And six times faster, but also it's going to be able to autonomously basically dig in the ground and come out the other side at a rate of one mile per week. Congratulations to them, and I'm sure we're gonna be seeing them here in Florida. Other Tesla news, yes, version nine of FSD is supposedly going to be released this Saturday, 12 a.m. California time. Yep, it's going to be released to the current beta users, but maybe a few other people, that's not for sure, but it's not going to be released to the general public, not the regular people, the beta button. That's not quite coming out yet, so don't get too excited. But Elon is saying that the new version will be released this Saturday at midnight, you know, California time. So let's see what that holds for us. Now, according to Elon as well, once it gets released and it gets tested and some things, you know, they, they see how it goes, a month from that, a month from that date, He's thinking that possibly the beta button will be released to everybody else. Now, I don't really think that's true. I think it's Elon time. It's going to be a lot longer. But we can always hope and have our fingers crossed that it actually happens within a month. But I'm guessing more like the end of the year. Let me know what you think. Moving on to the Model S Plaid. Well, apparently there could possibly be a software update to make it even faster. That's just a rumor, you know, and I think this software update applies to both the Model S Plaid and the dual motor. So maybe a performance software update as well as a range update. So Sawyer Merritt had reported that um, it's been, you know, said during the event, the launch event of the Plaid, as well as it continues to be rumored right now, even after the event, that potentially there is an unlock for more power and more range for the Model S's. So, fingers crossed, because that's always a good thing. Now, I had said in the past that I think there was going to be a acceleration package or something to boost the power that it currently has. You know, not that it's a slow car, and trust me, if I could have one, I would. You know, it's doing phenomenal. The videos that are out right now make that car seem amazingly, fantastically quick. I mean, that car is fast. So congratulations to all the Model uh, S Plaid owners, but there might be a little more range and speed in it for you with a software update. So I hope that happens. Now, going back to FSD version 9, when it gets released to the general public, I think, hopefully, by the sounds of what Elon is saying, that that might include a new user interface for the Model 3 and Y owners. That you'll get the mind of the car view. Yep. So I'm guessing that that's just in that portion where, you know, we have the uh, FSD, but essentially it'll be what the car sees or what we perceive it to be seeing. You know, I don't know if that's just the regular FSD stuff, you know, that we've all seen where it's a whole bunch of colorful dots and all the tracers going everywhere in more detail in the vision. But at any rate, you know, the mind of the car, so that's the vision that we'll get, and it should come when we all get the version 9 beta. And again, we're going to have to be patient as always, because he says a month from this Saturday, but truthfully, it could be nine months from this Saturday. So, But good to know that we'll get an update on our user interface. Now let's talk about the Cybertruck. 
Elon has said the Cybertruck is pretty much going to be exactly the way that he had said it was a few months ago, but now he's added rear steering. And I think that's great because that is going to help that big vehicle turn much better, especially at slow speeds, parking lot speeds, that kind of stuff. I don't think it's going to be quite a crab walk like uh, most people are thinking. I think there's going to be a small degree of turn in the rear wheels like most conventional rear steering is right now, which really helps decrease the turning radius, you know, um, in vehicles. So that's a big thing for such a large vehicle. So I'm guessing again that at slow speeds that the, the wheel, the rear wheel will turn opposite of the front wheel and then that'll help it turn tighter corners and whatnot and then at high speeds like on the interstate it'll turn with the front wheel so basically they'll both go the same way to make lane changing and maneuvering a lot more responsive and quicker so that's what i think right now and again i don't think it's going to be quite the crab walk but who knows it's elon so anything could happen staying on the cyber truck as far as suspension goes, you know, um, I had reported on uh, Rivian earlier in the video. What do you guys think of the suspension? Do you believe that the, you know, the height uh, of the suspension adjustment as well as the rock mode that we've seen on previous leaks possibly, you know, that's going to be incorporated into the Cybertruck, do you think that's going to be on all trim levels? You know, it's hard for me to believe that all of that off-roading capability is going to be on a rear wheel drive only cyber truck that to me it seems like if you get the tri-motor with all of the bells and whistles that suspension is probably going to be on the truck so you guys think it's going to be on all levels or just the top trim levels what do you think moving on to the model x if you guys are fans of the Model X, good news. One has been spotted out in the wild testing, so they're getting closer and closer to being able to release that vehicle. I know there's a lot of people waiting on that vehicle, but the rumor is what's got me excited. Potentially, the Model X will have a heating and cooling frunk. How awesome is that? A heating and cooled frunk. So you could essentially keep uh, your drinks cold or your pizza hot and you know me i love my frunk i keep all my food in there and primarily to keep the smell out of the car but still how nice would it be to be able to keep your food hot while you're bringing it from the restaurant to the house great idea i wish it had, i wish they did put it in all teslas so again that's awesome Unfortunately, it still looks like delivery times for the Model X is still in January and February of 2022. So there still is a little wait, but if it comes with all the bells and whistles, it might be worth the wait. The Model Y in China. Looks like they're going to get the standard range Model Y. The affordable Model Y. They're going to offer it in China. It sounds like it's going to be roughly about $42,600, which is great. That means more people can get into a Model Y. And even though it's rumored to have the LFP battery, which will make it a little cheaper, I'm sure, but the range was going to be probably somewhere in the, I'm guessing just under the 250 mile range, but who knows, you know, according to the world um, testing cycle, it's going to have 300 plus miles, but in the real world, it may be just under 250. But it's still great to see that Tesla is offering an affordable Model Y. Even though it's not in the US, it's somewhere in the world. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can get that over here, you know, so that more people have access to uh, electric vehicles or Teslas. So at any rate, that's it for today. Remember, go to your car meets, have fun with your mods, and enjoy what you have. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next video.